dynasty. Talk to me about this brand new lineup. Um, they remind me a lot of like Ambush last season, where it's just four guys that amazing ridiculous shots, they're really good players, and it's just like if they're on fire, like they're not missing shots, it's hard to break that. It is really hard to because they all, you know, are incredible players. So, you know, even like straight ripping calls to ambush like back in Orlando. Eight was it? Oh wait, yep. And right, here we go. We're watching as Triggers down and sitting on top of a 20-second lead here. It's 133 to 112. We still have a long way to go here, but I want to get back here talking about Dynasty a little bit. Not a lot of people in our, in our community know much about these guys. Were you impressed by any one player on that team, or is there a group of players on that squad that, that you really like their play style from? Um, I remember specifically being really impressed by Tazaksic. I think watching his VOD at like Meadowlands of this year, which, like first event, because I, you know, he was a player that I didn't know too much about. And watching, you know, watching him play, I was extremely impressed. Like he made amazing decisions, had incredible shot. Like he really, really impressed me. And do you expect Dynasty to to improve upon? Well, I don't know if they're going to finish farther than top four going into Orlando, but do you expect them to maybe place in a similar position at that next event? Um, I mean, if they keep continue to practice like the way they have and. You know, working on things like they have, I, you know, it's not even a question. Yeah, they will play very well. But, you know, I think a lot of times that these teams get destroyed is where it's like, like I said, they care about, um, you know, stats or whatever. And it's just like, if you, I think we proved at this last event where stats really don't mean anything. And Scott, I know you've been waiting to ask uh, Walsh a few questions here. It's your turn, buddy. I gotta step out for a second real quick to go talk to Sinite, our producer. He is filling in for Sundance tonight. Sundance, feel better. Hope it's not the swine flu. And Sinite has been doing an amazing job all tournament long. 170 to 114. Right now, Trigger's down sitting on top. Let's jump on back with the red team. All right, so Dave, uh, I have, after watching this event, I'd have to say that car strat is the dominant strat to do in Harrington. Would you agree for Oddball or no? Um, I feel like Pink Tower has just lost a lot of its, I guess, uh, dominance. Like, yeah, it's dominance, really, because if you think about Pink Tower and Halo 2, like, it's not that, you know, they change the height or anything. Like, I feel like the biggest difference is how long it takes to get up to Pink 2. Like, before, if you were to go, on, like, from Red 1 or Blue 1 up to Pink 2, like, that's a good four or five seconds you're out in the open. And that's, you know, the difference between life and death in this game. And in this game, like right now in Halo 3, where it's like you can make it up to pink two or three within two seconds. It's not that much of a risk. Like you just need to have that split second of open, you know, time. So I don't know. I feel like the size is kind of what makes the difference on pink. So it's so. Would you say it's better for car or pink? Um, I think that pink just lost some of its dominance. So I think car definitely just got better. And like same with car too. Like car lost you know, some of its vulnerabilities. Like, it took, you know, you could get forward before you get from, like, one slide to the other in Halo 2. Whereas on this, like, you have so much cover, you can run away easily. Uh, all right, guys, well, we got to get back into this game right now. It's 3.04 to 2, or th I'm sorry, 2.16 to 120. And, Walshy, before you go, bud, thank you so much for joining us right now. But we got to look ahead in the game types here. If Triggers Down continues to do this right now, they will win the game type. And that'll tie the series up at four to four. We have three game times left in the best of 11. That's CTF Heretic, Team Slayer Construct, Team Slayer Amplified. Can I get your prediction? Um, I guess whoever would win this, I would assume to also win the CTF Heretic. So give that one to TD, like you said. And then that would bring us to five, four, two. Construct. Uh, I would have to give the upper hand to straight on that one. They're really very, very dominant on that one. And then Ant. Um, so that would send us to a game 11, tie yeah. it all up. Yeah, and give me a second, I'm all. finding a quarter. Um, he's flipping it. Heads is TD. <laughs> all right, Trigger's down. It's going to walk away as your Anaheim champions, if Walshie is correct. Here we go, Dave. Yes. Thank you so much for joining us up in the booth. Always a pleasure. Best of luck coming into Orlando, and congratulations on your third place finish. Here we go. We're on board with SK. It is 2.30 to 137 with a minute and 49 left on the clock. It's nearing mathematically impossible here for straight ripping. 
and I Got Your Pistol is going to work here on pink side. He's finally going to be taken down, and we're going to jump on board with Hysteria. He's moving in on the oddball. They want to finish this one strong. They only need 20 more seconds. He's dead. Oh my god. Let's go, baby. All four members of Triggers down dead momentarily. The ball is in the hands of Legit. But this one is already over, guys. Now it's all about the stats and hysteria. Well, he wants most ball time. Picking up the stick. And Farouk, welcome back, my friend. I'm sorry to tell you that right now, uh, right now we're going into game number nine. And uh, we're about to get another big game started up here. Now, Farouk and I have a bet going on. The Cowboys are playing the Eagles tonight. And Farouk, I think we're going to call this the Spam Challenge. The yes. loser of this game is going to have to eat some spam on our Orlando pregame show. Yes, yes, we're going to have to do that. I'm going to have a nice can of spam ready for you. And actually, just so you know, Shibby is also in it. Shibby is also in it? Yes. So, so it's a two for one. Yeah, so if I lose, I have to eat an inch thick slice, and you two have to eat a half inch thick slice a piece. Man, and up to the challenge. I love it. And right now we're watching as Heinz is staring at that odd ball. <laughs> as Triggers Down is going to tie it all up. It's all four to four here. Remember, it's the first one to six, the best of 11 here in the Anaheim Championship match. Taking a look at the stats here after 15 minutes, Heinz is on top with 32. Actually, SK is there with 33. And on the other side, El Might Warrior continuing to put up huge numbers for straight ripping with 31 kills. Snipe down, dropped 30 assists that game. And that's eight games between these two teams here in Anaheim, splitting them evenly four and four, which actually equals the number of tournaments that they've won in Halo 3, four apiece. Straight ripping, getting up, stretching it out. They know there's been a lot of games and we still possibly have another three or four to go. So here we get ready for game number nine. You saw T Squared getting up there and stretching, trying to get the blood flowing. This has been a long fought battle, you know, over just the last two game types. It was 30 minutes. You know, these guys are drawing it out. Ne neither team really able to pull away and finish this, this one early on. It's going to the time limit every time. But here, I expect this one to go in the favor of one team or the other. Who is it going to be? We're going to have to wait and find out. Here it comes, guys. Game number nine. Who's going to go up in the series? It's capture the flag on Heretic. Now, remember, just like Onslaught, it's a small map. The first team to five caps or first team to three caps here will win the game. There's a sword top middle, and we're going to look for all teams to try and control that pink tower. Here we go. We're going to jump on board with I Got Your Pistol. He's slow playing this, waiting for all those grenades, knowing they're going to come from Street Rip, and he saw it earlier in the tournament, and now he's making his push pink too, but he's beaten down by Snipe Down. Let's stay on board, though, with Triggers Down. They just won that last game, and Walsh is saying whoever wins that last game on here, Tick, is probably going to win this one too, and we're going to listen in with Triggers Down for a bit. Two rec hard, two rec hard. Two rec hard. Our front jump. All right, now I was confused by the graphic. Just a quick correction here. We are going to five captures. Someone tried to lie to me. And there is the sword from Elmite. We're going to listen in with straight ripping as they're going after their first flag attempt. Two dead, two dead. Pink one, they're flagging. Pink one, pink one. Two dead. Last two, they're 